Today we'll be looking at Pandemic North America and looking at some of the parts and components that come with the game. This version of Pandemic is a lighter version of the original game. It only covers North America and it plays from two to four players. Here's a look at the box, the design. The box itself is of good quality, durable, sturdy, and it has similar graphic design as the other Pandemic games. So let's take a look inside and review some of the parts that it comes with. As you can see, the board game itself is smaller than the other versions. It comes with the instruction manual. The instruction manual is laid out nicely, colorful, easy to read, easy to understand, very similar to other Pandemic games. The playing board is of good quality as well. It's smaller. It covers only North America, um, including some cities in Canada, Mexico, Cuba. And as you can see here, just a little uh, overview of the game, the board game. It's smaller, but it does play well. Here's some of the cards. These are the four player cards that come included with the game. You have the Medic. The Medic has been pretty standard throughout the Pandemic series. The Generalist. And as you can see, the cards are a little bit smaller than the standard size cards but the cards are made of good quality sort of a threaded material but it has good design easy to read and the player cards have this blue design on the background on the back sorry some here here are the uh some of the reference cards that come with uh, the game each player gets one of these just in case they need to reference some of the actions that they have to do again good quality cards some of the uh, disease cards that get spread out throughout the map. Here are some of the city cards. As you can tell, there's only three colors, red, yellow, and blue. And they all come with the standard red cross on the back. Some of the crisis cards that happen throughout the game. The same red cross on the back. Some event cards. These help you and your team uh, to progress through the game. And then you have your epidemic cards. All of these have the red cross on the back, so they randomly come up when you draw cards. Here are some of the tokens. The tokens are your standard plastic feel, nice colors. But as you can tell, um, my blue token's already cracked, so the quality is not the best, but it's good, 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 good quality. Here are some of the uh, cubes for the um, diseases. As you can see here, the uh, layout of how some of the pieces and components will look on the board. If you've played Pandemic, it's very similar, the style the design. Something that I like about this version of Pandemic is its size. The instruction manual is very similar in size to the actual board when folded and all you really need to play are these components and they fit in these small bags very comfortably. And it's like put my phone next to it, you can kind of get a size, a good comparison of size um, with the components in the board. So if you need it, if you would like to take a game to travel with you anywhere, you can just throw this in a backpack, in a bag, and you'll have a version of Pandemic wherever you are. Thank you for viewing this video and getting a sense of what's included in Pandemic Hot Zone North America.